Hey there, my name is Catherine and my clients call me the Legal Lioness. So, a quick update on the Karen um, Reed case. Of course, uh, she there was a mistrial declared in her case and immediately after the mistrial was declared, uh, the prosecution team said that they would be prosecuting again and then about an hour later we received uh, that well there was a, a press conference uh, by the police department saying that they are going to be investigating the lead investigator in the Karen Reed case and uh, the lead investigator of course is Trooper um, Proctor and he the the police department press release said that Proctor is going to be investigated because um, of the the things that came out in the trial and so as a result of what came out in the trial he's going to be investigated so he's been stood down on full pay mind you um, so he stood down from his usual duties so he could still be in the office doing other things um, and he stood down from his usual duties on his full pay and the internal affairs investigation is an internal um, department within the police department that investigate um, potential police misconduct so the question then becomes what is going to happen next? Well, the very next thing that's going to happen, this case has already been set down for a recall hearing in front of the same judge at the end of July. So that's the next thing that's going to happen. And at the end of July, um, it's going to be the judge and the, the, the lawyers on either side. Um, I'm assuming Karen Reed will be there as well. And, and they, will, they will talk about what is going to happen next. Now, interestingly, there was an FBI investigation happening into Trooper Proctor even while the trial was going on but the defense was not allowed to tell the jury about that investigation so that's that's an, uh, an, an interesting little factoid there um, so the question then becomes given that Proctor is now in, under investigation by internal affairs are they really going to re-prosecute Karen Reed? And I think that probably they will, because they already knew that he was, well, the, 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 the DA already knew, the district attorney already knew that Proctor was under investigation by the FBI for his conduct in this case, and they still pressed ahead with this case. So probably, probably they will go ahead with it. I, I think it's the wrong, the wrong move personally, um, and as a lawyer myself, I would... I wouldn't want to be, be going to um, having this case under any more public scrutiny than it already has been. So what are the chances of success in a retrial? I think they're even, the prosecution faces an even more difficult hurdle in a retrial. Um, well, firstly, they couldn't get it over the line this time. Next time, they stuck with whatever evidence came out at this trial, so um, none of their witnesses can, can change their stories, they can't change their theory of the case. Uh, the defence, of course, has a bit more flexibility if it, if it comes around again. And if it comes around again, then the defence will be able to use the, f the fact that Proctor was under investigation during this trial. They will be able to put that into evidence, although in this particular trial the judge said it couldn't go in. But in a, in, a, in a new trial, they will be able to put that in because, um, you know, they, they will be able to put it in. Uh, and the fact that the, the um, Proctor is under investigation by the police department, they will be able to put that into evidence as well. Now, the reason that the, they couldn't put those things into evidence this time around was perhaps the judge felt it would be too prejudicial. It would, um, you know, it would paint Proctor in a bad light <coughs> but Proctor's already been painted in a bad light also the reason why it would be relevant in a retrial is when the police department announced the internal affairs into Proctor straight after the mistrial was declared the the um what was announced was that they're doing an investigation into him because of information that came out during this trial so it's not that he's been investigated because of you know, he's got unpaid parking tickets or some other unrelated peripheral thing. He's being investigated because of what happened in this trial, the information that came out in this trial. So it's going to be bank to rights, dead on, completely, totally relevant. Now, 
in my view, Proctor should never have been allowed anywhere near this investigation, and that's a big fail on the de part of the department. I don't know who is checking to see who's investigating what, but that, that was a big fail. Um, he had such a close relationship with the people in the house who the defence claimed somebody in the house outside which um, Officer O'Keefe was found dead. The people in the house, the defence claimed somebody in that house uh, had something to do with O'Keefe's death. They killed him. Something happened. And it was the people in the house. Now, it came out in the, in the trial that Proctor had such a close relationship to the people in the house that he had exchanged messages with them and asked them to babysit his small child. So that's a very, very close relationship and he should never have been allowed to investigate this. Um, just even for the appearance of impropriety, even if he did everything absolutely right. Um, and the only reason why that information actually came out was because the FBI had Proctor's private cell phone and they were able to get that information off his cell phone. Um, I can't, I'm, I'm not sure why the FBI had the cell phone, but they did, and they provided that information to the defense, and so that's why that information came out. So, do I think there's going to be a retrial? Probably. Uh, I think it would be a mistake. If I was on the defense, on the DA's team, I'd be saying, no, 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 we don't, we don't want this to be retried. But the reason why, a strategic reason why they might want to go ahead with it is they might be concerned about being sued by Karen Reed for um, going ahead with the case in the first place. If if they can now say, well, the evidence is not fantastic, um, then Karen Reed might have a case to say they should never have gone ahead and, and prosecuted her in the first place. So they, they might not want to make it appear that they're acknowledging they should never have um, prosecuted her in the first place. Um, they could sort of squirrelly get around that by simply saying, well, after the extent of O'Keefe's um, relationship with the people in the house came out at trial, then they, that, that could be a reason why, you know, officially they decide not to retry it. Um, but I think, I think given what we've already seen so far, um, quite often when the DA gets the case and they prosecuted it once and not got it over the line, they can be very dogged and determined to keep going irrespective of what else happens or what other information comes out. So I think they probably will retry her. I think it'll be a mistake and I do not think that they will be able to convict her. If they couldn't convict her this time around without the, um, the evidence that Proctor was being investigated coming into the picture, I can't see them pro um, successfully prosecuting her next time around. It could be on that jury that the people who didn't want to find her not guilty couldn't believe that the police would go to those, those extents um, or, or would do things, act improperly, let's say it that way. They might not have believed that the police would have acted in an improper way in handling the case. So that could have, they could have been on, you know, they could have been quite determined on, on their view that the police wouldn't act improperly. And if that was their mindset, and if they are, you know, thinking ahead to a future jury, if, if that's their mindset and they, they don't like to think that police would act improperly, but the lead investigator has been investigated not only within his own department, but by the FBI, and you know that information, I just, I just think of, I, I can't see any jury finding her guilty. Um, besides the fact that, you know, on the stand, there, there's some quite damaging information came out, um, you know, and O'Keefe quite clearly had, not O'Keefe, oh, Proctor had quite clearly um, sent some texts that were hor horrific. Um, and what, one of the texts said that he hoped that Karen Reed would unalive herself. I mean, this, it's, I, I, can't, I can't even believe that they put, that they prosecuted this in the first place. Put it that way. If I was in that office making that decision, I would have said, no way, no way, Jose, unless we had something much stronger, um, which I don't, I don't think they had. Anyway, so the next thing that's going to happen is the end of July. There's going to be that, that status hearing. And after that, I expect we're probably going to wait one, two, maybe even three years before anything else happens because we have to wait 
for the FBI investigation and the internal affairs investigation to complete and then the DA would have another look and they can, even if they say now, you know, on the end of J July, even if they say, oh yes, we're going to re we're going to prosecute again, I think it's going to very strongly hang on what happens in those two investigations. Um, so if the investigations find improper conduct on O'Keefe's, on <laughs> Proctor's behalf, then there's a lesser chance that the DA will go ahead. Um, but if they clear him, then I, I can't see why the DA wouldn't prosecute again. Um, they, they don't want to look like they made a mistake in the first place. So it could be two years, three years before we know whether there actually is going to be a retrial. All right. Thank you very, very much for listening and I will catch you next time.